Well, good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, depending on when you're listening. Thanks so much for tuning in and welcome to the Wealthy Lala Show with myself, Lori Larson. So today is one sh show episode podcast 150. 150! I know I started at 100, so this is my 50th show. So how's it get any better? <laughs> like 10 weeks I've been doing this already. And um, oh, it's created so much in my world. It, you know, even if I get really um, kind of behind with it, and uh, I think it was even, even yesterday's show, uh, you know, I was like, oh, I'm going to go meditate. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh my God, I got an hour and a half till my podcast published. <laughs> It's like I might want to go do my show, but it's still exciting for me. It's not. It's not a oh, you know. <laughs> so, and you know, today I'm actually really excited. I woke up this morning thinking about today's subject. It was just in my awareness already. And yeah, uh, uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with a friend, and we were talking about how. Sometimes when you're in a group, and this group could be like a, a large, um, it could be a family, it could be your work environment, um, it could be, you know, a big, a large circle of friends in your community, um, you know, or it could be like I've been in, in places where like I've taken a lot of classes and in in some of them, depending on how involved you get with them, there's that kind of circle community too and um we we're talking about it and and I said well you know what's really cool because what I'm I'm noticing like um yesterday I was on a one-hour call with Dr. Joe Dispenza so I mean he's just so on you know maybe a lot of people say this but I just really get it so true with him he's so on the leading edge of understanding like the quantum field, the energetics, the, um, the places and spaces that we really truly create our lives from. Okay. And so I was listening to his call yesterday and there's such a congruence and such a level of openness and kindness, um, in his conversations and, there's no exclusion. It's so inclusive and it's so congruent. I don't know if I said that word, but it's so congruent. Like it's so congruent, like it matches this beautiful energy of creating more or greater in the world. And uh, so I'd gotten off that call and I was chatting with this friend about, you know, what's really cool about Dr. Joe's work is that for me, I don't... Um, I don't feel, I feel like if I was to take one of his books or, and do a book club or, you know, have some people come over and let's do some meditations together of his, I don't get that I would get my hand slapped, that I would be in trouble for it. And so there was a, there's been a few situations in my life where that energy was really real and true in my world. And actually a lot has changed even just from yesterday, from this conversation, because awareness sometimes of actually really seeing what was going on or what it takes to change it can be the catalyst that actually changes it. So, um, Anyways, we're having this conversation and I'm saying, yeah, you know, it's like when with this particular situation, like I felt like if I was to do something, you know, um, maybe outside of the rules and the rules could have been, and that's the thing people is the rules can be spoken and unspoken, but there's an energy of don't you dare, don't you say that, don't you do that. And, um, and that even when you are in a, a particular group, and again, like I can find this in definitely more than one place in my life, where it's uh, not only can you not say anything, not do anything uh, are within or without outside of these uh, boundaries or rules, um, spoken and unspoken, um, not only that, but there's actually no one to talk to. So within this group, you know, whether it's community, family, or of whatever sort, not only 
can, are these rules there, but there's actually no one to talk to about them. Because if you do, you're very likely going to be the one that's made wrong. And it's funny because it's kind of reminding me of the gaslighting and narcissism stuff that I've, you know, seen of is where, you know, they try and make you crazy and like make you like you're the one who's wrong. When you have an awareness of, of how something is working or not working and um, there's no place to go with it. And if you, when you don't have a strong sense of self, this can mess you up. And, and that's what they play on too, right? Now, and this isn't saying that every situation is exactly the same. And you can find these energies in places like all different places. So what was interesting was that after this conversation, the topic just sort of sat in my head, you know, because because this person I was talking to said, oh, I like I've never been impacted by that. Like this person has never been impacted by this. Like they'd never been impacted by the fact that that they shouldn't, you know, draw outside the lines or 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 do something, do whatever is just lighter, whatever, and creates more. And I was like, what? How do you not ever have had this experience? Like, how have you never had that energy? Like, how are you actually truly 100% purely beyond those, you know, fears, discomforts, anxiousness of um, feeling like you could get in trouble, that you're wrong, that you are, you know, don't you dare say it. That's, that's like a, you know, a family secret. That's a group secret. That's a community secret. We all, you know, those things that we just keep under wraps, like everybody kind of, it, well, some people might not know about it, but everybody, there's an energy there where people do know about it, but no one's saying anything. And uh, so when this, this person was saying to me that, well, I've just never understood that. I've never been impacted by it. I was freaking like mind blown by that because I didn't know that someone could actually like to meet a real life person, a real live person who's actually never been impacted by that. And, and it's, and the thing is, is it's not in one of those like F you kind of ways. Like, well, I'm just, you know, F you, I'm not doing that. This person actually is so congruent with that. So, I, I, you know, that, so we, you know, that was it. That was kind of that for the afternoon. And, um, the afternoon went on, my hubby came home, we have this cute little hot tub, so we had an awesome hot tub as the sun was, you know, going down, it didn't quite go down, but like the sun was just shining on us, and oh, we're out there in the hot tub, you know, it was like, I don't know, minus 10 or something, and we had our toques on, and just enjoying it, and we had supper, and stuff like that, and then I had to go back to this particular, you know, person, and text them, and say, hey, I get that conversation for me is not over. And she's like, well, with regards to what? And I said, well, with regards to this, you know, like, how did you not ever feel impacted? Like by those underlying, you know, secrets and rules and stuff that get held within and groups and families and, you know, groups of friends and communities and, um, you know, even consciousness groups or groups that are, you know, yeah, just, you know, big class organizations and stuff like that. And, and, you know, um, she just wrote, um, I should actually find it because if I say the exact words, it actually has the thing. Ah, uh, where is it? She says, hmm. Um, she says for her, even though she was so enthralled with this particular thing, it wasn't anything she ever felt threatened by. It was like she, she knew she always had val value beyond it. Like, do you get, do you get that? Knowing that you always have value behind something like that you have value that you have value, that your value creates greater, that your value matters, that no matter what game or games people are playing, secrets, rules, whatever, 
you know, that you have value beyond it. You know, it's funny because this is really like a side note. I, you know, I was driving the other day, went to the city a couple of times this week. And on one of my trips coming home, you know, there's this one set of lights on these, on this sort of like back highways, you know, back road highways, like not the really main ones, but the back, back highways. And, um, I, I noticed as I was, you know, I had gone through, I looked behind me and I saw somebody who, you know, turned from a red light, for, like they turned them, they let themselves turn. It was red for them. And then they just, they went through the intersection and turned anyways. And I thought, you know, really like no one was around. What's the big deal? You know, like, it's like seeing that you can actually have sense beyond the rules of this reality. I mean, would you choose that if it's all full of traffic? Well, no. And if there's nobody around, like it's not hurting anybody. And, you know, um, but even when it comes to these bigger things, you know, whether it's your place of work or a group of people that you hang out with or, you know, it, within your family or, you know, whatever, you know, when, like, and I've been allowing this to sort of percolate because this is a new area that I desire to have more of me in, like, have even more value of me in my world. And, you know, I, I've, I've done all this stuff, like I've done almost like, gosh, we're getting close to 20 years of all these different kind of classes that I've been taking. And um, next year will be 20 years. So this fall will, I think, August will be 19 years since I took my first you know, kind of alternative class, although it was 19 years ago now that I started seeing someone who did like energy work. And knowing that we're energetic being, like you break us down, people, you break us down. Small, 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 quantum size. We're energy, we're moving particles. And um, so the energy that we be, the energy that we choose, you know, everything has an energy. And, you know, so I, I started looking at this because um, I want to choose more value in my life. I want to be that for me. And um, less impacted, even more, little by little, every day on, you know, what other people think. That old model of myself being a incredibly fantastic people pleaser, um, being so incredibly aware of other people's worlds that and and seeing the value in pleasing them um you know allowed me to really lose sight of what was actually true for me now there's been some main choices that i've made you know that i chose for me i mean i chose my husband and i chose to have three kids and and moving and living where we live and stuff like that in my career um and those things were safe to choose within this reality, you know, getting married, I'm heterosexual, sex, heterosexual. So when I got married 31, two years ago, being heterosexual and getting married is very acceptable. So I made an acceptable choice. The career I chose within the healthcare field was an acceptable choice. Having kids was an acceptable choice. And you know, I remember even during my journey of this, you know, when um, I'd start to go to these classes, I mean, often you'd find people that were gay in these classes, because it was a place that they could finally be themselves, or at least it was a beginning place for some people to find themselves. And I, you know, I remember feeling uncomfortable, like with these people that were gay, and I couldn't figure out what the heck it was for me. And then I realized what it was, is I was so jealous of these people that, were allowing themselves to become themselves and I still did not have the courage to choose that as a white heterosexual woman who's married to a husband a man having children working a traditional acceptable career and you know it and underneath all that I wasn't really really like being me um I was still bouncing around other people's expectations. Now, you know, that still was me because I still did choose those things. And I'm still very grateful I chose those things. But it's those little things that rock the boat. Um, you know, telling someone that that actually doesn't work for me when they talk to me that way. Or, 
saying, no, I don't really want to go to this function or, you know, or, um, or this dinner or this movie or, um, you know, when I, when I wanted to leave a job that wasn't healthy for me, I didn't even consider it. Do you know, you guys, I realized like zoom, 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 it's already 15 minutes in. I am just going to have to continue this show on the next episode because I apparently have a lot to say about this. <laughs> Although I suppose having value in ourselves is an invaluable, priceless gift. So on that note, you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for listening. Big hugs.